in this stream we're going to we're going to final that we're going to do the last three entities which is the uh, sorry the last two entities I should say which is the explosion and the bullet so we're going to put those in and then we're going to try and do the bullet collision detection so we can start when we press when we fire a bullet to identify that there's an entity there and if it's an entity that we destroy then to convert that entity into an explosion hello So that's what we're going to try and do. So we've got two more entities to do. So the explosion center and the explosion debris. We're going to put it in the aliens file because that's where everything else is. And we're going to try, like I say, we're going to try and do the bullet collision detection system. And see if we can, see if we can make it a little bit. <laughs> this is the, I keep getting all these little messages at the bottom here, so I presume that's to do with live share. But just to be on the safe side, where is it? Here. Let's get rid of that just in case it's that. Just in case it's that. So that's the plan. Oh, you've been come to visit us, have you, mate? Hey, eh? you've been a pain all day, and you've come to visit us. Hmm. Hey, eh? you're saying hello to everyone. Yeah. Stay there, then. Don't get too close. Remember, this is your camera here. This one here. Come here. Oi. Stay there. Your audience look. What's your audience look? Yeah. Come here. Ooh. You're all banging your head quite a lot just recently, aren't you, mate? Hey? Hey? Banging your head quite a lot. We, th we think he had his... Um first awake seizure we think don't we hey don't don't get too close to that <laughs> sitting next to <laughs> sitting next to the camera um we think we think he had his first uh, awake seizure that we know of that we've actually he was um just walking walking through the lounge uh, next thing is like no his back ends doing that it's like, like his legs are giving way and he's trying to stand up and then he topples over and he was there for about 30 seconds careful mate and so um, yeah we're just keeping an eye on him at the moment we don't know if the disease is what whatever the disease is is, is progressing We've only seen him do it once, so yeah. So it's uh, yeah. Right then. So let me fire up. So I'm going to fire up Myriad the sixty, the Vic version. I don't know what this, but they've changed something on here. Got these side panel thingies that are driving me nuts. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's uh, <laughs> that's um, the the film. Right, that's what I want there. So, so let's try and find the explosion. So. Can you hear that? <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> I have no idea what she's watching. That's pretty loud on the mic as well. 
<laughs> anyway, so let's try and so in aliens we're going to create another one. So that's builders. So we'll get minimize builders. Right. So we're going to create uh, explosion. Um, because we're going to need two of them, aren't we? Now remember, we are just dragging over from the the VIT code, and then if we can mod if we can make it more efficient, then we'll do it. But we are going to do an efficiency uh, uh, task on it when we've got it all working. So let's see if we can find the explosion stuff. Well, there's the movement. So let's see that's the debris movement right have, have we got oh yeah convert element to explosion that's what we need here we go hey Macman. right so we looks like right so this is the debris yes that's the debris so this is the the center so let's grab that and we'll put that in here so um this is not an insert. This is, like it says, it's a convert. So maybe, 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 maybe. Should we call it insert? No, we'll call it convert. We'll call it convert because it's not an insert, really. Let's get rid of all the junk. All right. Colors. Right, we'll do that. Oh, that's a right racket, that is. So, colours. Dot. That. Uh, so, I have no idea what's going on with all these tabs. Anyway. Uh, set, set, set. I think that's near the bottom. There we go, that's the one I want. Right. Set the Y direction to zero so it stays where it is. We set the color. We change the character to the explosion center and we make it an explosion. So that's basically it, head phase. So, and we don't do an insert, but we do an update. Ooh, we're going to have to put an update in that because we would fire this off. We would fire this off. When would we fire it? When did, let's find out when he's done it. So, update scoreboard, okay, no. Always doing up the update directly after, okay. And the update directly after, right. Okay. So when we do the convert, when we do the convert, pods go away, pods. And when we do the convert, 
we're going to have to up, update it. But problem is, we've come across this before. Problem is, we have to load. Now, oh, that's a point. Now we'll leave it for the moment. We'll leave that for the moment because I'm not too sure when I'm going to call this. I'm not too sure when I'm going to call this. Because um, it won't be an insert because we'll com we will convert the element that we've got into this but I'm not too sure where we're going to do it because if we use the bullet mo I've been raided I've been raided again hello welcome I've been raided again say hello to everyone uh, right so I'm going to leave that there because I need to figure out how we're going to do it. But there is the movement part of it. So let's find the movement. That's what we want. This could be the detection routine. Hang on, let's just check. No, that's bad guy movement. Right. Where's the movement? So, we have got a timer. Hello, Cyberhop. I've not, not... I'm not experienced in raiding, so... You'll have to let us know what you was up to. Right, so let's get that in here. So we'll put that in there. So this is the movement, so this is the execute, yeah? And we need to code block it as well. There's no code block around it. Right, so we're not using that timer. We're going to be using that one because that's, I think that was a, a misunderstanding. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've got another raid going on. What's going on? Hello, welcome. Oh, some assembly on microcontrollers. <laughs> Welcome Raiders. Welcome. Oh, Python. Oh, well, I'll be doing some of that soon. We'll be using Pygame to convert what we've got in assembly here for the 64 into Python. That's going to be sometime over Easter. Right, but assembly assembly on uh, microcontroller that that would be interesting. I'll have to uh, I'll have to look at that. I know I'm le I'm learning ARM assembly at the moment. But welcome. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. <laughs> you haven't seen assembly since college days. Well, yeah, we're, we're, we're old farts. It's all we know. It's all we know. Right, that's an RTS there. Right, so the movement for the explosion center is basically it stays where it is. So 
we don't do anything. So when the when the time when the timer for the explosion uh, triggers, so when we when we do the trigger, we clear it out. We get rid of it. All right. So. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean. We're, 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 we're learning. We're learning Python, right? We're learning Python. I did some streams not long about where I did a Python Twitch bot, which is now running my overlay, and I gave it the guys. But we're going to be converting this game, which we've got on, which is Myriad, the VIC-20 version of Myriad. Um, we're going to be converting Myriad from being assembly into Pygame. So that's going to be something we're going to be doing over, over Easter. So... The guys and myself, we're going to try and code it in Pygame. I have been doing a bit of it. <laughs> My, your VS Code is now following me. Is it? Oh, wow. Okay. There's only two people watching, though. Right. So that's the, uh, that's the explosion. So the explosion debris is going to be slightly more complicated because... The explosion debris goes off in all sorts of directions, doesn't it? So let's see if we can find that. Du, 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 du. Right, so that's the movement, right? So that's the movement. So... Doesn't seem to be a lot in it, but we'll grab it. We'll grab it. And we'll put it in place, but then we'll go and find where we initiate it, yeah? So we'll get rid of all the uh, all the things that helped us. I mean, this. I mean, the explosion debris was linked into the builder timer. Right. So we need to get it linked into that. Let's get rid of that. We know that this is elements process direction. Uh, are we off screen that way? Are we off screen that way? Are we off screen that way? Ooh, this is a good one. X. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? So, it's testing the off screen, but what's it testing for? So if we're loading X, that must be, that must be playable area. Right, playable area, rightmost, rightmost column. That must be it. Du, du, du. Oh, it's not, it's dimensions, isn't it? Dimension dimensions dot playable area dot right most column. So this is checking to see if it's gone off screen, yeah? So if it's gone off screen up, which is this, yeah, it's loading the Y, loading the Y position. If it's equal to zero, that means it's gone off the top of the screen. Yeah. Then it loads the X1. If that's equal to zero, that means it's gone off left. Then we compare it with the playable area rightmost column. And if it's gone bigger than that, then it's gone off the screen. Other than that, we just RTS. This is just RTS. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, I'm going to go to that. Hang on. There you go, mate. You got another follow. Because I'll be interested. I'm going to watch one of yours. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Right, so if it's gone off the screen, then we're going to clear the element out because we don't want it to still be on the screen. So elements dot. I can't remember what it was called. Clear. I know it's just clear. There we go. So the debris, as it's moving, because it'll mo it's going to move in a, a not a star. It's going to move on all eight axes, I think. If it goes, if it hits any of the bound boundaries, we get rid of it. Yeah. Right. So now. We've got to find where we create the debris. So let's see if we can find it. So that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Element destruction control. Now that. That looks like it. That. Right, that's the insert. That's the insert. We just called it something different. Element construction, element destruction control. Let's paste that in. And then we'll get rid of it. Get rid of all the junk. Right, so this is the insert. We, but we need to find where it's inserted from because we haven't found that yet. So let's get rid of all this junk. So this is elements. Woo. And I still can't spell elements. Set current position. Oh, now we're copying. Now we're copying temp row. Right, temp. Color, 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 color. So that's getting rid. Oh right, that's getting rid of any multicolor attribute, isn't it? And it with seven. Say again. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's, I need to, we'll put in the colours, we need to do, let's, um, let's do something here, so, um, uh, multicolour, so let's move, remove the multicolour, so that's going to equal, So we'll put that in there. Remove multicolor. So that's going to remove the multicolor aspect of the color, which I think is similar in Vic and 64, but not quite. I will do that. I will do that. Right. So, so we load the element type, then we load the character. Right. Now, this is this is the thing that confused me before. Implement change of direction. Ooh. Oh, this is. Oh, right. Okay, I get this. Get this. Right. This is where it's in. This is where it's. Um, it's adding the eight in. But so we need to look at implement change of direction. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can find it. It's this one, isn't it? So let's see, what is it doing? So it it's setting it. That is going back to... Where's that going? Ooh, we've missed something. Where is that going? Is that going forward? Oh, it's there, isn't it? 
Oh, I got rid of it. Right, okay, let's let's just temporarily copy that back. There we go. Yeah, I deleted the label. <laughs> Good job you guys are watching. Right, so so I th it's this one, isn't it? Implement change of direction. Now, I think this do you remember when I was doing the flow chart and I kept saying it's cha it's changing the aspect of the X and Y d depending on how many times you do it. I think this is the reason why because he's running through it all the time. So what we're doing is is creating is is running through a loop of 8, yeah? And then he's creating each debris but because he implements the change of the direction on the previous state it's then moving to the next state and then to the next state and then to the next state and i think that's where he gets it from so so we're loading the temp we're storing in direction loading the temp in direction then we insert insert into bad guy array so elements dot insert and i think we called it that as well then we load the index dx now this is where this is where I don't like this. So we're going to do branch of plus, and we are going to change that to seven. Zero to seven is eight. So that's a better fit. That's a better fit. So that should create our eight dots around the center. Yeah. This is our this is our sound effect for the. For the explosion which we will deal with later so I'll, I'll leave it in there but remmed and we'll deal with the sound effects later so that is the insert and we've got the X we've got the execute here right um, it's just this explosion we need to, we need to understand where the explosion it's been called. So let's see what's going on. Uh, let's find out where explosion is. So that's explosion movement. So we know about that because we've just done that. Right. This is what we're going to be doing in a bit. The bullet detection, the bullet collision detection. So let's just have a quick shifty through that. Right. So. Load X, get the character from the screen. Does it equal what's in the array? Branch if not equal, that means we must have hit something. So what is going on? Right. Asteroid. Bullet hit an object left. Bullet hit an object right, okay. Does it load it in and then just convert it? Let's see if we can find that. Because that seems a fair way. Where is it? Ah, there it is. There we go. Killed bad guy in update score. That's what we're looking for. Let's see, there we go. So it's it loads bad guy empty space, stores it in the X, we update bad guy and then Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Hello! I'll just call you Treble Six. Welcome. Thank you for following. I'm core two raids and how many follows? There we go. Right. Oh, but what about where was I? Oh, there. So we update the bad guy. So that that turns it off. Then we've got this identify what the elements. Okay, let's find that. We'll do that in here. Where's elements? No, 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 no. I'm in the wrong. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Right, next one. No, nope, next one. Right, here we go. Lo oh, locate an array. 
So what are we doing? Locate what in array? Oh, load the... St oh, right, okay. Load the bad guy. Compare it with the screen X. Oh, so we're comparing the locate... Ah, oh, right, okay. So that's how he's doing it. That is how he's doing it. So we're going to have to do that as well. Hmm. Okay. Branch if, if there was no collision. So if there was a collision, then we update the score. But we have got... That's the ship. But we update the score. Now, is that... There's the explosion. Right. Let's go and find that. So he's doing the explosion on the on the the uh, when we when we do update the score. So here we go. So we get the element. Yeah. This is where we test for the brick because the brick the brick has several hits before it it, it goes. Yeah. And this is where we're converting it. Right. So it's in the. It's, it's in the scoring. Now I'm just wondering if we... If we can... But it's the centre. So why not convert it? We just have to make sure... We, where's the update? Are we just updating... Oh, we're updating the array. Okay. We're updating the array. I don't know what the X is. That is because it's done here. Well, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Trying to... Um, Shoe on that in. Because the insert doesn't the insert doesn't know where we are, yeah? The insert is basically saying I'm gonna insert. So I'm just wondering if we should just insert clear out and then just run the insert and not do the conversion. It's the update that's worrying me. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> Let's have a look at the insert. Let's see what the insert's doing. Array movement. Draw element. Insert into array. Here we go. But that's not... That's not where we call it, is it? No. It's add, isn't it? Here it is. It's add. Execute. Insert. It's down here. Here we go. Add way. Here we go. Add. Oh, we add. It's we call the insert when it's right at the start. That's where we do the call. So all we need to do is all we need to do is when we do the collision detection. Oh, the, the collision detection is going to be fun because I think we're going to need to do it on this. Sorry, on this here on the bullet. That's where we're going to do the collision detection. For the bullet collision detection, anyway. So we need a way of... remembering where the bullets are. So... How are we going to do this? I'm just wondering whether to... instead of convert, just do an insert. Clear out and then do an insert. Hmm.
Yeah. Right, let's put this in. Let's put the debris in. Whoops. Nearly forgot. They can go all together now, can't they? Let's set the asteroid. We haven't done the asteroid yet. Right. And we haven't got an insert. So we're going to leave them there. Because we haven't got an insert. We've got to convert. Right then. Bullet. Where's bullet? There we go. Bullet. So. We've added the. We can't test the. We can't test the expl explosion routine. Until we've. Until we've done the. Um, the bullet. Uh, collision detection. So. We're in the bullet file. And so we're just going to create another one called. Um, We'll just call it collision. So has the bullet collided with something else? Now we saw in here. Let's do collision. Here we go. Jump to bullet collision detect. That's there. And then we jump in there. So this is the collision detection system. So let's see if we can grab all this. But there is all that up here as well, isn't there? Well, this is going to be interesting to optimise this. Right, so how far are we going? Well, we know we need that. That's the conversion to a reflector. It's not a reflector killed ourselves Ooh. I don't know how much I've got how much I need of this do I think I need we'll go all the way down to here we'll go to there and we'll we'll strip out what we don't need yeah this is gonna be fun working all this out Right, let's get rid of that. So these are the two jumps that it did. So this must be this must be when it's trying to determine if it's a two by two, yeah. So we'll leave that in, but I, th I don't think that's our starter for ten. This is the starter for ten here. So we may have to move this out of the way. Now, with the bran with the branches, yeah, that's why he's put them above. That's why he's put them above. Okay. Right, let's work his way through this. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So this is element. Get character from screen. I think that's in there. Yes, it is. Oh. So, he's loading. He's loading the. This is the bullet, right? This is the bullet X, and he's storing it onto the screen, into the screen. Bullet Y, he's storing it, into, and then he's saying, "Get what the get the character off the screen." Yeah, and then he's storing it in delay full counter, or what we call delay full counter. <laughs> Right, let's call it some bit. Let's call it something a bit more, something a bit more um, easy to read. Where's the storage? Okay. 
So, delay full counter. Okay, so... Um, have we got anything explosion related around here? Bullet related? No. 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 Right. So we'll put it here with the. We'll do it here. So this is this is the. Um, Droid char. So we'll put that there. So storage. So we're storing it away so we can then test it. Then we're going to compare it. ATL. ATL <laughs> At least you can now read the code, okay um, So Remember we're talking bullet right the whole point is the collision detection is around the bullet So we we're we're running through the execution of we're running through the execution of the entities, right? And now we've come into drawing the bullet so what I think, what I think, um, Steve Steve did was he ran the collision detection on the bullet first because because everything would have moved. Yeah, within the array, everything would have moved because we haven't drawn it on the screen yet. But also, then he runs it afterwards once everything's on the screen, just in case he's missed something because he was bit. It was a bit pessimistic so he actually runs the collisions detection twice now I'm trying to avoid having to run the collision detection twice but I'm not sure if we will be able to not do it purely because we're moving everything all at the same time yeah we run through the we run the execution code for all the elements at the same time so if we have a, say let's say we have an alien here and there's a bullet there yeah and the alien is one, the entity is one of these that comes down one row, yeah? Oh, the collision is the same thing, yeah. So what happens is, yeah, so what happens is, we, we run the movement code, which will then run through everything and say, right, this has moved down one, and this has moved up one, yeah? So potentially, then once we've moved, once we've moved the bullet up one, yeah, we've missed. It's missed. It's gone straight through it, and that's why, that's why Steve um, runs the collision detection twice. Because what happens is, he runs all the movement code for all the entities first, yeah. Then he goes and says, right, can you test if the bullet's been on is colli is colliding with something? Which obviously it will be because he runs through the entire array to see if the any of the entities have got the same X and Y as the bullet. And if it has, then he runs the collision detection. And then what he does, he then moves the bullet and then checks the collision detection of, uh, as again because the bullet could have gone over the top of an entity. So he's doing the collision detection twice. Now, I don't think... I would like to just do one collision detection and just get it get it done. But I'm not too sure if we'll be able to do it because of the way the mechanics work where we move everything. Need to store the value of DO1E. But DO1E, hang on if my memory's right, is the sprite collect the collision detection, yeah? We're not using sprites. We're not using sprites, are we?
Yeah, that's the sprite collision detection, but we're not using any sprites. We we this is purely all characters. This is all character based. And the reason the reason it's character based is one, it's a Vic twenty game. And also when we move when we port it to the C sixteen and the pet, they have no sprites. So we can't we can't we can't rely on sprites. So you've got to remember this is the bullet, right? So the current the current element so this is the current element, you know, element.x, element.y, element.type and all that is the bullet, right? We are testing the bullet, where the bullet is. So we're, this is, we're, set, we're loading where the bullet should be and then we're set loading what's on the screen. Is there a character on the screen other than our bullet? Yeah, so that's why we are testing with our character, yeah? And if it's not equal to, then that's when we say we've hit something, yeah? All right. So, let's get rid of that. Here is where it says, hang on, we haven't hit anything. We've just tested the screen. It's a bullet. So, we haven't hit anything. So, and so we return back the carry clear if we've not hit anything. And carry set if we do. So, let's put a comment in here. Right, so we are running this to determine if we've hit something or not, yeah? So it'll return back clear, carry clear if it's not hit anything. So that means it should return back carry set if it's hit something, right? So if we've, if we've come across a space, then we've not hit anything, yeah? If we've come across any debris, we've not hit anything. If we've come across the explosion center, we've not hit anything. Right, so they're the what they're the ones that are we haven't hit anything. So now we're coming into the asteroids. So bottom left. Right, so this is where we're talking about left and right. So let's split this up, yeah? So that's left. That's right. Right, so now we've got the pods. Oops. So that's the pods. And then we've got the reflector, yeah? So the reflector has different mechanics, yeah? Because the reflector, when it's a specific, if you remember, there's two reflector characters, one that's that way and one that's that way. Now when the, char when the characters lap that way and the lines are pointing up, we can kill it, yeah? But if the, if the lines are going horizontally, the bullet will reflect back down to us, right? So we need to take care of that. And that's what this is doing. So it's testing that we've hit a reflector. If it's not a reflector, we move on. Now, what's going on here? So this, this is where we have hit the reflector. So load the bullet left hand, load the character. Is it the left hand bullet? If it's not the left hand bullet, then we're testing All right, okay. So it loads the left hand bullet, stores it. Oh, so we're converting the bullet. And we're still going up. Okay. Right, so. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's very off putting. <laughs>
Right, so let's try and understand what's going on here. So we're loading... We are loading the... Um, so where's this coming from? Ah, oh, it's coming from down here. Right. So, compare it with reflector. Branch if not equal to. But the, oh, hang on, it's the pod reflector, isn't it? It's the it's the pod. Re Remember what we did last week? The pod reflectors, those little like lying down brackets. It's them. They automatically reflect the bullet back. So that's what's happening. Is it a right? So it's a pod reflector. If it's not a pod reflector, then we're going to bypass it down to here. Yeah. But if it is, it automatically is is changing the direction of the bullet. So we're we're loading the character of the bullet. Is it the left hand one? No, it's not. Right. So we come here, we set it to be the left hand one, and that is then set to going up. What's going up? Is that two five? Two five five, isn't it going up? Oh. I don't know why they don't put a bigger thing on that. Right, so element direction going up. Is FF, so, oh, it's, it's just sending it straight through. Right, okay, so if it's the left hand bullet, it just goes straight through the reflector. So if it's a right hand bullet, okay, let's see what happens. So it's, if it's a left hand bullet, so right, okay, it's not a left hand bullet. So it converts it to a left hand bullet. So it's for your right hand bullet, it goes straight through and converts into a left hand bullet. But if it's a left hand bullet, it's gonna convert it to a reflected left hand bullet and then send it on its way back down to us. Right, okay. What are you up to, eh? Lie down, mate, come on, lie down. Lie down, lie down. Lie down, no, okay. You're not going to find anything. I ain't been here all day. I've been at work. Yeah. Nico. Nico. Say hello. Say hello. You saying hello? Hey. Say hello. Yeah. Hello. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's, he's, he's got a Oh, don't say that to him. We have enough problems when we take him to the vets. All the lady vets coo over him. It's ridiculous. Right, so we know what's going on. So the pod reflector only reflects a right hand bullet, yeah? So here, if it's a if it's a right hand bullet, it converts it to a left hand bullet, but makes it go through the reflector. No collision, yeah. And so it comes to no collision there. Da, 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 da. How many no collisions do we need? Okay. Got one there. Got one there. And so it returns back out. Okay, but. If it's a right hand bullet, it can no, if it's a left hand bullet, it converts it into a reflected left hand bullet and sent and changes its direction to go down. So it comes back at us and then returns out. Okay, so if it's not a reflector, so that comes here. So we're now here. So it's not a reflector. 
In fact, I'm going to make that a proper one. I'm going to make that a proper label. So, we're now testing for all the different element types by looks on it. So, this is the boxes. This is the one with the horizontals and vertical stripes, yeah? So, it's going to, it's testing for the one with the, the horizontal stripes. And if it is, then we have a possible reflected bullet. Right, got you. So, if if our if our right hand if our left hand oh on, let me let me get this right. If our right hand bullets hit if our right hand bullets hit the boxes, it'll go straight through it. If the left hand bullets hit the box, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna reflect it straight back at us. Right, okay. Now we're testing our, our ship. So that's testing our ship. Uh, we did not hit ourselves. So here is where we kill ourselves. Right, this is where it's going to get tricky. This is where it's going to get tricky because this is testing both left and right. Sure, there's a better way of laying this out. So empty space. Right, we didn't kill ourselves. Right, so this is we've not killed ourselves. Uh okay, right, okay, I get it now. I get it now. So this is the end result of the collision. So, update bad guy array. So this is, this is, um, this is gonna be the trouble bit. Cause this is updating the bullet. And then we've got element, we have to identify what the element was. So if this is in the execution, if this is going to be in the execution, then we should be all right. Um, I need to check that. Because we'll need to load something back in. So where's the execution? Because <laughs> remember, we're running through the array, yeah, and identifying what's what's being done, yeah. So that's the triggers, and this is where we're doing the update. Here, here, this is what we need. So we'll copy that, we'll paste it into there. So that's, and then we'll do the update. I know it's gonna do the update when it comes back out because the first thing it does when we've done here, when we do that is we do the update but the problem is we're probably going to be overwriting what's in there. Ooh, that could be problematic. That could be problematic. Maybe, 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 maybe. That may be problematic. Right, so we haven't done this, and we haven't done this. Right, so let's just rem them out for the moment. Because we need to understand how this is gonna work. We need to under we need to decide where we're gonna do this, yeah? Right, so this is the next thing. I don't know why it's up there. Why is it up there? We could put it down here. 
I don't want that up there. Let's put it down here in between these two, like that. That should be okay in there. So, if we've hit the right, then we decrease the Y, and then... Ah, oh, right, so it's doing the check. Ah, right, okay. So this is to clear out the 2x2. Two two. Hello? Hello? Did you enjoy that film? <laughs> it sounded weird. It was weird. Was it really weird? I thought you didn't like violent films. Oh. You going on Minecraft? Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So we've moved... Basically what this is doing is it's testing... <laughs> so this is testing... Um, it's testing the bottom left. For the asteroids, it's testing the bottom left. Top and bottom left. So we're going to hit the object left, yeah? So that's here, and basically what it's doing is it's decreasing Y, so it's, it's, it's making Y go up one, yeah? So, which means it's that, that side, so there, so it can wipe it out, yeah? But if it's hitting the bottom right, yeah? So the bullet's always going to hit the bottom, bottom character, then we need to, because it's the right-hand side, we need to de DX the X to make it come back that way as well as go up when we to do and that's what that's what that's doing and then it's just doing the the update and the score which is this yeah so um, but this 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 is still worrying me oh it clears the bullet out oh, okay that's it I've got it. So if the bullet hits something, we clear the bullet out as well. Right. Okay, I'm happy with that. And now I'm now more confident about it. Right. So, um What we need to do What we need to do now is put this in the bullet. We need to put this in the bullet code uh in the execution which is here. Now this, this is, so this is where it does the move, yeah? So what we need to do here is we need, I think we're still gonna have to, we're still gonna have to check the collision, aren't we? We're still gonna have to collect, check the collision. Um, 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 um. So, so it's doing that already, and we're doing that there. So why would we do it twice? I don't, th no, we wouldn't do it twice. We've already got it sorted there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the collision here. I'm going to put the collision there and then branch if carry set I think set is when it's we've hit something yeah set we've hit something so branch if carry set because we don't need to do the update right we don't need to do the update we just 
we just um, drop out. So what we're going to do is we'll go exit and we'll just go to exit because if we've hit something then we've wiped out we've wiped it out uh, which is down here we've updated the we've updated and it's the element isn't it update the element in the array to be a space so when it comes to drawing it it's not going to draw it yeah because it'll be an empty space so that take care that takes care of checking to see if anything has moved into our location but but this is still relying on something being on the screen I think we need to change the way this works. I think we need to change the way this works. Because this is relying this is relying that there's a character on the screen. This is relying that the character's on the screen. And I'd rather use the array. I'd rather test the array. You know, this what identify what the array is. Let's find out what that is, because I think that's testing the array. Yeah, we'll locate element in the array. Yeah. That's what that's doing. So it's checking, it's checking the screen position where we are and finding out what's there. So we need that. We need that. Right, what was the other place? So he locates branch, right, located element in XY only. So this is where we do the... Oh, but we're doing it again. Oh, that's that's strange. Is this coding twice? Right, there's there's locate. That looks the same. Does that not look the same? That's the... That is the same, isn't it? Oh, he's testing the he's testing the screen character. Right, this is testing the screen character. This is just testing the position. So it returns carry clear if it can't find. All oh, right, so it tests. It's okay. So it's doing two things. It's using this to find the the element on the screen. 
So we're testing the screen X, we're testing screen Y, and we're testing the screen, the character that came out of the screen. Yeah? So the get, when we got the character from the screen, it's testing that. I don't know why we need to, I don't know why we need to, I don't know why we need to do that. Because if we're going to test, if we're, if we're going to test where the bullet is, X and Y, we just need to run through the array, testing X and Y and finding anything that was at that position. And if there was something at that position, then we blow it up. What, do, do you agree with that? Because he's doing two checks, he's checking the character, he's checking the position, he's checking the character, and then he's checking the position. I don't think, I don't think we need to do both. Hmm. I don't think where's that going? Is that going up or down? Wow, that's going all the way to the bottom. It's 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 like it's it's like it's it's like it's Steve's forgotten that he's already done it, and then he goes off to to do it. Um. So I, th I I think we need I think we need to um, ooh, what do I want to do what do I want to do um, <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit, mate. See you in a bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, let's see what we can do. Because this is, like I say, this is testing the character. We're loading the character in. And we're just checking to see what it is. Um, 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 um. And then we we update the bullet, and then we identify what it is. just don't like it I don't we're doing two searches of the array here we're doing two searches of the array so why are we doing two searches of the array just trying to understand why we're doing two searches of the array um, so 
uh, let's have a look. Let's go back here. So we identify. So it's if it's carried clear, that means there was nothing there. And then we right. Okay. So if it's set, then we update the scoreboard. Okay. So updating the scoreboard is performing the is performing the explosion. Right. Okay. Right, okay. Um, so he checks the character. But is there an, is there a, do we ever go here if nothing's found? There, do we ever go there? Because if a character's created a space, then we, it doesn't go there. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking this. I'm, I'm, we'll 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 struggle with this later. Right. So bullet. Um, now I think that I identify what's what the element is should be in the element code. Should be in here. Now I'm sure we have a locate. I'm sure we do. there's the find locate an array there we go so we do have the locate in the array Right, so we do have the locate in the array, right? So we do have this. We've already got that coded. That's already coded. Which is here. And we are returning back carry set and carry clear. And that's the index. Right, this can work. This this can this will work. Yeah, this this should work. So we need the other one, right? So we need we need this is the character t this is the character test. So we need the other one. Um, so let's grab the X Y, which is this one. Let's grab that one. We'll put it directly below the other one. So we'll put it directly below that one. So this is now checking, you know, we're going to locate el locate elements in the array. So we're going to locate in the array on the X, Y only. Yeah. So we're only testing for the X, Y. Get rid of all this. Right, let's get that's elements, isn't it? So locate is up here somewhere. There we go. So locate in the array. Now we're going to do this make it the same and it's branch of plus right 
So we're loading. Load from array. And this is the same as that. So we'll just we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna do that. And uh, we'll copy that. Sure, sure we can make this better. Because it's only the it's only the it's only that bit that's different. Everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. Um, 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 just checking. Everything else is the same, isn't it? Right. So this is element array. Xbox. That's why. Yeah, it's just a character that's different. Oh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this so it uses the same function? So that's checking. Is it same X? Yes, it is. Is it the same Y? So this that's what this is doing here. Is it the same X? Is it the same Y? Is it the same character that we've we've lifted? If it is, load it so we can deal with it. Yeah. This one is saying, is it the same X? Is it the same Y? Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Hey SP, thank you for subscribing, mate. Thank you. Not in nine months. Nine. Nice. We're just I'm just struggling with two routines that look almost identical. These are the two. So this is one, this is the other. So let me just put the let me put the comments in so you can see that they are almost identical, yeah? So this is where this is where it differs here. So I'll just put some spaces where it differs. There you go, that's roughly it. So as you can see, the two routines are almost identical, except that this has an extra test. And I'm just trying to think how we can how we can deal with that. Because um, why should we have two functions that look almost identical? They store everything in the same place. I think I think when I think we need, we just need a a flag. I think we need a flag in there. Um, yeah. I think we just need a flag in there. Um, uh, da, da, da. I mean, we've got this demo flag. Ooh, could we use that? No, no. We'll, we'll just create another one. Um, so, um, um, Activate character test. Okay, 
So zero equals off. Uh, 80 equals on. So I'll do something like that. Yeah. We'll do something like that. So here we'll go LDA storage dot <laughs> you'll take people for 200 points <laughs> um, and then we can just do branch if plus So that would come here. We need more games on this channel. <laughs> well, hang on. I'll, I'll let me start up Wordle for you because I know you. I know you. There you go, Wordle. There you go. It's in easy mode. Enjoy. Should work, unless OBS is going to throw a fit. Right. While you're doing that, right. So that means that we can then we can then set this. <laughs> I haven't I haven't converted to Streamlabs yet. Uh, do guess. So there you go. <laughs> I'm used to Shalom Stream. I did a six word. Huh? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right so while you're messing around with that we're so we can then get away with that so let's put a comment in here um, let's put a comment in this so that should do it right so we don't need the other one then we can we can leave it so it loads the array and then stores it in the element current and I don't think I'm not sure if that's going to get in the way of the executor let me just see if it gets in the way of the executor Well, you have two letters. You have two letters in the wrong place. Right, where's the execute? Here we go, execution. So, um, how is that? Oh, here we go. So we store it. Um, oh right, okay. So we <laughs> we we move them and then we draw them straight away. So okay, so we're alien, right? So we're oh we're, right, okay. So we're not actually on the same index. That is fine. I'm happy with that. We're not actually on the same index. Right. So um, back to bullet. So this identify what element it is. So we'll we'll put that in bullet, yeah. I 
identify. Is that it? Oh, very nice. You, you don't take it in turns by the way just go for it as many turns as you want there's no there's no turns on mine you just go you guess first one who gets it wins yeah Take that bot dotted line off the keyboard makes it look funny right let's find this in the original so we are looking here so first things first we're going to load zero store it in storage dot and then we're going to run that array and then if it's not <laughs> oh, I think I know what it is. I think I, I think I know what it is. Oh, it can't. All oh, right, so. I, can you think of that letter I think I know what it is I think I know uh, I don't think you've actually used it no you haven't right Yes, I thought it was that. It was it. It was two. It was two. There were, but I didn't. I didn't see if you'd used. Oh yes, you'd used a T. Right. Okay. So it wasn't tails. It wasn't tails. I thought it was tails or pails. It was one of the two. But I didn't see the fact that you'd done a T already. Right. So. Um, oh, have I got that outside of the? Construct. Nope. Oh, it's because of that. That's what's thrown me. Right, let's bring this back one. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> running through the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> I mean, that's what I do. Unless you have my engine, then you've got an unfair advantage. Right. So, we're now going to test for the XY. Yeah. And so, uh, da, 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 da. problem is, if we load, does that affect the carry? If we do a load, does that affect the carry? I don't think it does, but I'll just make sure. No. So we can do a load. Ooh, does a store. Don't think a store does, but we'll check. Nope. Good, 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 good. Because then we can put this back to that, which is the default. <laughs> right. So we RTS this. So we should be able to do that and then do that. So, um, no collision. Where is that? Where is that? That's up there. So, we load where the bullet is. We update the, we update the element, so the bullet then gets dis destroyed. We then find out what the character is, because we've done the get up here, yeah? Which stores which stores it in the um, the screen the screen character. So in here we look at screen character. There you go, screen character. That's what the get does. Yeah. And so if we don't find it using the X Y and the screen character then we just use the XY to find it. And once we've found it, that's where we can do it. Right, so that's the collision detection. So we just need to put this collision in the execution, which is done there, yeah? So we test before we move the bullet, yeah? We test before we move the bullet. So if any, has anything landed on the bullet? And then we should then test after hey up so we should then test afterwards which is going to be here but I've got a sneaky suspicion that is not going to work because we're still testing we're still testing the the um, we're still testing for the characters also we need to put a test in here hang on let me let me put a test in here as well Um, that's what we need. Branch if equal to uh, where? Where do we go? Um, here, because we need to check the next one. If it's an empty, if it's an empty one, we d we shouldn't we shouldn't be testing it. If it's an empty space, we shouldn't be testing it. Right. So that will we sorts that out so here I think I think all we need to do is this bit here this bit
Ooh, do, 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 do I, do I, do I, do I? Oh, I want to, I want to just do a locate by, um, X, Y, really. I don't want to do a test for the character because we've already done that before. So we should right. Let's let's do a, a let's do another routine. Let's copy this. Um, do I put it in there? Um. Let's put it in there. So let's grab that. Oh, should we? we oh, hang on. We could do this. Yes, let's do this. Should do that. Then we can run that on the bullet again. So here, instead of just doing, we can do it by X, Y only. So once we've moved the bullet up, yeah, we can check to see. Uh, because what happens is when it draws, if something's underneath it, the bullet gets drawn on top of it, yeah? And so we need to check what's at the XY position beforehand and then deal with it. So if we do this collision by XY only, that means it's going to come down here and it's only going to identify the elements by XY only. And if it's, if it's branch of carry clear, that means there's nothing there then we'll just uh, we'll just bypass it but if the um, if there's something there then we'll update the scoreboard right I think that'll work so we still got our two checks but the first check is has anything been drawn over has anything been drawn over the top of it which uh, to be honest got to think about this because the bullet is the last thing to be drawn the bullet is the last thing to be drawn so it's always going to overwrite anything on top I, I still think we're gonna have to just do by XY only Yeah, I still think we're going to have to do it by X Y only, because I'm I'm just thinking of the execution the execution routine. Yeah, the execution routine runs through the entity types. So let's get to it. Here we go. Move in. This is the execution. Yeah, so it works out the timers. Yeah, and then what happens is when the timer's fired, it then executes the um, where are we here execute element entry so it runs all the element entries for that particular timer yeah for the, that particular timer then at the end of it it draws all the so once all the movements have been done it draws all the the elements but the problem is when it when we draw all the elements if I go to that right we are going oh we're going backwards Oh, nice, nice. 
what am I worried about? We're not drawing the bullet first, we're drawing it last. Uh, sorry, we're drawing the bullet first, not last, because we're going backwards on the draw. So we put the bullet on first, and then we put everything... Oh, forget what I'm saying. Forget it, forget what I'm saying. So this is still going to work by character, but then we're going to test by XY afterwards. So once we've worked out the new... But then we don't need to. We don't need to because we, we execute it, then we draw it. The bullet goes on first. Question is, what happens if we have two characters occupying the same spot? <laughs> what? Yes. What happens when we have two entities occupying the same spot? This is still only going to find one of them. This is still only going to find one of them. Ooh, that's a good one. What happens if two aliens have moved into the same spot? It'll only... F if we scan the way the scanner works, the way the it'll only find the first one. Hang on, let's go to locate. Well, we don't need that. We've done we've done away with that. So I'm going to rim it out there. So in this locate, it when it finds the first one, that's the one. It 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 doesn't find anymore. Um, <laughs> okay, who only fires one shot? Yeah, I suppose that is true. Right, okay, let's let's do the update scoreboard then. So I I think I think we'll catch two anyway. We'll catch two because we'll do the collision where we catch the character and then we'll do the XY so that'll catch something else so that'll catch two so um, we need to I wonder if this will work if I fire it up will it actually work um, right let's fire it up let's see if let's see if it'll work so I'm going to say level one. I'm going to say wave one. Yeah. Let's see if it. Ooh, well, that won't work, will it? That's in the constants, isn't it? Right, let's see if it'll work. Ooh, got errors, errors, errors. Oh. What did I call it then? <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not put making this 3D. I'm not even thinking 3D. Hang on. Let me just find out why this is. Uh, that. Clear screen cell. That's not in there. That's in utils, isn't it? Clear screen cell. I think that's in utils. Yeah, it's in utils. Right, so where are we? Um... Elements. Line seven. Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. Aliens eight eight two. 
Yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Sometimes those error messages get a bit much. Right. Thank you, mate, for spotting that. There you go. Um, right. Let's see if it does it. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, it's not clear bad guy, is it? It's clear. That, it's that one. Any more for any more. Nine one seven. Okay, I didn't do a very good job of doing this, did I? <laughs> Definitely didn't do a S explosion. Oh. Execute. Oh, are you joking? <sighs> oh, I don't like this tabbing all this there should be a way of moving from one tab to the next uh, 88 I bet this is utils yeah oh come on give me a break Hang on, asteroid. Control and page up. So where's, where are we in there? Bullet, line 20, bullet. Okay, control page up, let's have a look. Oh yeah, so it is, but I was on the wrong one. Oh, but that's doing it on that side. Oh, now it's doing it on the phone. There we go. Oh! Control tab. Okay. Let's find this first. Uh, line 105. Oh, okay. Constants there. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Right. What's wrong with this? Is it because I spelled asteroid wrong? Yes, it is. <laughs> right. Bottom left. Asteroid to bottom left. Right. So, asteroid one, bottom left. <laughs> Low spell checker. <laughs> um, asteroid bottom right. Uh, one. Asteroid one bottom right. And asteroid two bottom right. Right. Now is it going to work? There we go. Right. Oh, you're joking. Is that utils as well? Yes, it is. Uh, where's that? Where's that bullet? Bullet, bullet. Four, two. So this is utils.
It is there. Oh, update the array. Uh, where's that in? Uh, bullet still. Uh, 177. Will you run now? Come on. <laughs> Oh dear. <sighs> Where's that? Is that bullet? Oh, 196. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Microman. Oh my god, mate. Hi, John here. Another <laughs> subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. I thought you was taking the missus for a walk. Thank you for the five Hi, gift Johnny. subs, mate. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> I did make that a little bit. Hi, John here. <laughs> Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Any more? Is that it? Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Thank you very much, mate, for. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear mate um, yeah I think that does come under that category oh here we go right let's see Well, it's not detecting toffee, is it? It's not detecting toffee. Right, bullet. So we've got a problem. Um, that should be set. Right, so let's do a... What is going on? What is going on there? <laughs> what is going on there? I'm not doing anything. Put a break on it. Please restart the debug session. What do you mean, re please restart? Oh. Yes. Oh, is it crashed? Yeah. Yes, code's crashed. It's crashed, hasn't it? VS Code crashed. This one's all right. Right, we'll close that down. <laughs> this has gone kaput.
Right, let's see if the reopen option fixed it. Right, let's put the breakpoint in. I want to put the breakpoint there. There. Nope. It's not liking it. Right, let's try this again. I want to put a breakpoint there. Right. Oh, the live session's gone. Hang on, let's start that up. Right, I'll put that in Discord for all my uh, Twitchers. There you go, so you can get back in. Right, let's find out. Let's find out if it actually is doing it. Right. Right then, where's the fire button? Well, it's in there. Is that branch of not equal? Yeah, so that's returning out. So let's put a break point there and get rid of that one. Right, F11. Forget what fire is. Ooh. Right. I don't want to test any of those, so we'll start it there. So it's going into the collision detection. There we go. Oh, I missed them. Right. going on right I'll see if the ast see if the asteroid gets de detected now it's just going straight through it but we know it's going through it. We know it's going through it because of, let's get rid of that. Because it does, the spe What? Go away. VS Code's having a fit. Um, oh, that break point's disappearing again. It's crashed again. It's crashed again. Well, would you believe it's crashed again? Doesn't like putting that break in. Yep, 
Yeah, it's doing it for me as well. Um, but VS Code crashed again. Oh. I wonder if it's the live share. I wonder if it's the live share. Right, I'm just going to do the, do it again. I'll put it in Discord again. There we go. And we'll try it again. We'll try it again. But this time, I'm not going to use the um i'm not going to use that i'm going to just do this yeah so i'm just going to type in dot break yeah okay mate so is anybody on there's no one in yet right let's let's find out what's going on so we're going to have to we're gonna have to suffer. We're gonna have to suffer it breaking every two seconds. Oh, that's crashed. What oh, I was gonna say. Right, here we go. So let's make sure we're gonna fire. Right, fire. 20, that's okay. 20, 1B, that's itself. 1B, 1C, that's itself. Right, here we go. 1C, 1B. It's just seen itself. I think the bullets, I think the bullets are being put on last. So that's testing itself. 1B and 1C are the two. So it's, yeah, it's gonna move. There we go. So it's testing itself. It's catching itself. Let's just make sure the draw routine's doing it backwards. Oops, gone too far. Yeah, it's starting on the last one. He's starting on the last one first. Yeah, I think it, I, th I don't think the extension likes um, having live share so maybe you'll have to type in just dot break on the thing but I'm not I'm, I'm I'm not too sure if this is actually um 
Do we draw the bullets elsewhere? Hang on. Have I got a separate draw bullet? Execute. Create. Execute. Collide. No. So the bullet must be being drawn. Um. Bullet must be being drawn. Um, let me see. Um, right. Let's. We'll, we'll, we're gonna. I'm gonna find out if the bullets are being drawn. So we'll, we're gonna. We're gonna walk through it. We're gonna walk through it. Gonna walk through it and see where the it, where the bullet's been drawn. So uh, we'll move up so we don't have many, and then we'll fire. Here we go. Yeah, the the the, the bullet is an element type. So, but we're doing it backwards. So the bullet should be drawn first. Yeah. So it's not. So this is the execute. So we'll we'll get to the end of the execute here. So we'll put a breakpoint there. There we go. And then we'll jump back out, and that should put us back into the uh, the looper. So the this this should be. Hang on. Control F four. One of them is it four? Ah, there we go. So, um, draw elements. There it is. That's the. That's the. Draw. That's what I want to. There we go. That's what I want a break point on. There we go. So let's go back to that one. Press F11. Right, so now we're in the draw. So we're going to go into the draw. There we go. So this, right, load X31, store it. Hello. I've not noticed. We'll have a look in a minute. Um, right. So this what? So this is what types this? That'll be the end one. So load that 04 type 04 yeah that's our elements oh it's doing type 04 first Is it loading up? Oh, right. It's not drawing. It's not drawing the. Um, it's not drawing the bullets last. Uh, f uh, first, it's drawing them last. Right. 
we need to we need to put a um, Well, that's annoying. Because it's, draw it's drawing the uh, element array in, in order of the elements being added to the array, yeah? So the, bu so the al aliens are on there first, yeah? And then it draws the bullet. But the problem is the bullet is one of the last things to be added. So, um, so the answer to that is to draw the bullets first, which means running through this array twice. Oh, I really didn't want to do that. Or just not testing the character and just test the XY. We could do that. Which would be which would be cyclically faster? Which would CPU which would be CPU faster? Running through the array twice to draw the bullets first and then the entities or loading each one in and testing whether they're in the same spot. That is drawing the bullet first and then the entities on top. Right. Yeah. But it's all, it's, yeah. The yeah. Um. We we can we can we can we can rescue this. I think. Um. Like we've got a flag. Whoa. <laughs> what do you mean folk? What are you doing up there? Are we in are we in read only mode? Yes we are. What are you doing up there? Stop messing around with my storage. Oh, it's for it's for it's for collaborating phase. You can put comments, collaboration comments in there by the looks of it. Right, let's put another. <laughs> Mike's messing around with my VS Code. <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? Mistake? What? What's a mistake? <laughs> um, I think it, it's I think it's only read only. He can try and change it. I don't think it'll happen. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Right, we'll create another flag. Yeah. Um, draw. <laughs> <laughs> bullets 
<laughs> what are you doing? Only. <laughs> do, I, do I back up the code? Yes, I do. <laughs> In fact, let's do it now. Let's quickly do it now. There we go. Backed it up to git. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, before he changes summit. Right, so um, so we'll do the same we'll do the same philosophy here, right? So naught equals um, no bullets and dollar eighty is bullets only. So that's what we'll do there. Right, so uh, let's, let's go back to the draw. There we go. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. It's just strange I could see his cursor on the top of the screen. He's probably scrolling through right now. Right, here we go. So this is the draw elements. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, this, right? So we load from the array and then we'll 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 type it. So first things first, is it empty, yeah? And then we will um, uh, what should we do? Um, Oh, a test. We can test here, can't we? Compare hash element type dot bullet. Whoops. Yeah. Branch if not equal to making noises um we need to right okay so we need to test for a bullet yeah i've got to figure out where this is going so if it's not equal to a bullet, we bypass it. If it is equal to a bullet, then we're going to load this. And what did I say? Bullets only. So if it's branchy plus... That's not going to work, is it? it? Needs to be down here. There we go, that's where it needs to be. Now.
branch if not equal to a bullet if it is equal to a bullet is that on branch if plus which means no bullets to bypass so no bullets can't go there because we've tested it's a bullet so we need to go here that's where we need to go there because we, if, we, if we're not doing bullets Oh no, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, got to do that first, don't we? got to do that test first yeah we've got to do this test first um, Do that. If it's bullets only, right, this is bullets only is right, okay. Um go there because yeah no bullets okay so this is no bullets right but we are putting everything else on there oh this is annoying I still need to test the type. So the question is, what, which do I test first? All right guys, I'm gonna have to take Nico out. I won't be a sec. Be right, be right back, be right back, hang on. This little monkey decided that he was going to mess around outside, weren't you? Hmm? Weren't you? You alright now? Hmm? <laughs> Here we go. There we go, they're sorted now. Right then, while I was downstairs, I was thinking, I was, try I, was try I was trying to think which way we test, and I think we need to test this first, yeah? Because this is the one where we're just placing the bullet on the screen, so we'll We'll pull back. <laughs> I 
They better not be. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hang on. Has anything changed? Oh, I love Git. <laughs> I love Git. You can prove when people have been messing. Oh, look, he's there, look. Look, that's where he is. Look, he's there. That purple icon there, that's where he is. I bet he'll move out of the way now. Right. So, when we're placing the bullet, we only need to test for the bullet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull back, because I, I put the element type onto the stack. So, I'll pull it back, and then we'll compare it with the bullet. Yeah? So, we'll compare it with the bullet. And then, if it's not equal to... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ever so weird. It's ever so weird. Right. So, if it's not a bullet, we are not drawing it. <laughs> you found the focus participant. Right, okay. That's, that's you telling me to look at a certain place. That's what that is. So if you found a spelling mistake and you wanted me to look at it and I was ignoring you, you could do that and point me and, and say, yeah, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Right. So if it's not equal to a bullet, we don't want to draw it. Yeah. So we need to come here to say, move to the next one. Yeah. But if it is a bullet, Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We want, we need to learn, okay. Right, so if it's not equal to a bullet, we move on to the next one. If it is equal to a bullet, then we'll get it to print, we'll get it to put it on the screen. So uh, we will we will change this to place um, element on screen. So I'll grab that because that is that. It, well, in fact, that doesn't matter. So if it's not equal to, if it is equal to jump to there so it places the bullet on the screen now if we are in normal mode then we're going to bypass this to here yeah we're going to bypass this to here so this is where we're not putting bullets on the screen so what we're going to do is we'll do the same thing again pull from the stack but we'll actually do a compare with the bullet We'll compare with the bullet, and if it is a bullet, we will go to here. It's amazing what you think about when the dogs are outside doing their stuff. And we can get rid of that. So that then becomes there. So, just working through this, right? We load the array. Uh, we, we load the element from the array, then we test the type. Yeah, we test the type. I don't know why we're not testing the type first. In fact, let's do that. Let's take, test the type first. I don't know why we're testing the type first and then doing this load and store and baloney. All right, let's grab that and put that there. All right. So we load the element in, we test the type. If it's empty, we bypass it, yeah? If it's not empty, we push the element to the stack, set up the X and Y, check that we are drawing only bullets. If we are drawing only bullets, we pull it 
back, we test for the bullet. If it's not equal to, we bypass it. And then we jump to place it on the screen. If, it's, if we're not drawing bullets, then it bypasses it and comes here, pulls it from the stack, compares with a bullet. If it's a bullet, then we move on to the next one. And then it carries on. That should work. So we need to find where the drawer is. There we go. So first things first, we are what we we want to put the bullets on the screen. So we're going to load hash dollar eighty. Store it in draw 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 bullets only. Then we're going to draw it. Then we draw the bullets only. And then we're going to set it back to zero into there. And then that will draw all the other elements. <laughs> You're just thinking, hurry up, dog. <laughs> well, that's why I grabbed Aston because he was just outside running around. It's pitch black out there and he's just going mental. Right. Let's see if that works. So this should be drawing the this should be drawing the bullets for uh, the bullets first and then everything else. Right, let's see. Have I still got the breakpoint in there? I don't know. Oh, now we have a problem. Right, okay. So we're not drawing anything. We're drawing the bullets, but we're not drawing anything else. Let's just make sure it's right. Drawing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's just check. Branch of plus, that's zero. Yeah. Comes to, that's definitely coming to here. Let's make this a proper, let's make this a proper one. Uh, don't draw bullets let's make it a proper label pull compare it with the bullet if it's not equal to the bullet ah oh. ah that's why I've still got the breakpoint in there somewhere um there oh i'm not going to touch that red there we go we'll do that right let's find out if we have something on the screen now excellent we have got elements right and we have bullets Right, it's definitely going underneath. Right, it's definitely going underneath. So let's put a break point in now. Uh, bullet, bullet, bullets, 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 bullets. In the collision, uh, we'll put the bullet on here. We'll put the break point here. So we'll ignore spaces and everything else and we'll we'll see if it detects anything else, yeah? So here we go. Right, so here we go. So first there right okay so what we oh it's picked out one F
It picked out one F. It's picked out one F again. It is definitely drawing the bullets first, isn't it? Yes, it's definitely drawing, but it's picked out one F. Fifty-nine, fifty-seven. Right, okay. Fifty-nine, fifty-seven. Fifty-nine and fifty-seven is twelve and twelve. Yeah. Five uh, A is four and four. Okay, so they're set up right. Right. Let's put a break point there. I want to find out what's going on. Right. So. F10. So it does the. Oops, it's not gone. There we go. Does the getting. So LDY 58, which is 13. Seventy eight. Oh, this is the. There we go. So now it's got it. So LDY is 11, load at that point. F5. Oh, sorry, F7 becomes 07. One B. One B is the bullet, I'm sure it is. 1B is the bullet. Um, carried set. Yeah, it's picking itself out. It's picking itself out. Um, But why is it picking itself out? We're drawing them. F we're drawing them first. Ugh. Right. Draw. Where's execute gone? Here. Right. So I'm going to not draw any bad guy, any aliens. We're just going to draw, see if the bullets are drawing. Oh, well. That's the reason. It's still drawing bullets. That should not be drawing any bad guys, but it is. Right. Load storage bullets only. Branch shift plus. This is minus. So that's going to place element on the screen, which is here. Then it moves on to the next one. Why is it drawing them then? Why 
Is it drawing them? Oh, this is going to annoy me now. Right, that's where we are. Where's bullets? Yeah, I'm just checking that. That little voice in my back of my head was going, Oi, oi, idiot. Draw wizard. Oh, I've lost execute, haven't I? Oh, there it is. I, I didn't rem out that. All I did was rem, rem out the drawing element. So it should be storing 80, which should be only drawing the bullets, right? Because it's minus. So it draws, compares with the element type bullet, and then. If it's not equal to element type bullet, then it should move on to the next one, which it does. But if it is bullet, then it draws it. If it's zero, it shouldn't draw the bullets. Um, let's find out what's going on. So at the moment we should have an empty screen. It shouldn't be drawing anything except for bullets. And there it's, it's, where are we? Yeah, this is it. So load 78, which is 80, branch if plus. Oh no, this is minus, isn't it? So this should be doing the bullets. Compare it with 13. If it's not equal to, move on to the next one. Get the next one. F11. So the next one is on the stack. Load 78, which is 80. Element type 0. Right, let's just put it there like that. Because we know it's going in. Zero, 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 zero. Element type zero. See, it's just put them on. It's just put them on. Do do. Yeah, the, the yeah the the one above it, the one above it is to draw is to just to draw the bullets. We're drawing the bullets first, but it's still drawing everything else. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, so this should only draw the bullets. This when when we set this, this should only draw bullets, but it's drawing everything else. And I'm trying to figure out why it's drawing everything else. We haven't got that anywhere else, have we? Have we got that anywhere else? Oh, there. Oh, there. So, we're, oh, we're actually drawing this thing twice.
actually drawing this thing twice. That's probably why it wasn't collision detecting. But we'll we'll, uh, we'll see if this this is doing it. We'll see if this is doing it. <laughs> yeah. Right. We'll ram that out. So we move, then we're doing the drawing. So I've turned it off there and we've, we're leaving it there. Right, let's just do a quick, so everything should be rammed out except for these. Yeah, right. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Right, so we've got no one, so we should only see bullets. There you go. Right. So if we do the other way around and do it, we should now see bad guys. And then when I press for the bullets, ah, the bullets are still in the array. We're just not destroying it. Uh, drawing them that's why it broke so let's take the break point out let's go to there right so we'll put it back in and we'll see if we get any that's okay oh Oh, we get the bullets disappearing. Yes, the bullets disappearing. Right, if I get closer. Yeah, the bullets disappearing. So the collision detection's working. Right. Finally. Finally. So that's now, because we're drawing the bullets first and then drawing them off over the top, we're getting the collision detection now. Now, um, we know it's working because the, the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I was. I, I don't understand why I put it. Well, to be honest, I'm. I'm wondering why I put it there when I, I got it here. So we'll get rid of that anyway. Get rid of that because we don't need it. So we've got it here. So this is. Right, so we need to now um, put in the 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 destruction. You're all right. There you. There you. Are you all right. Hang on, guys. Ever thought of constants for true and false? Um, yes, I suppose. Um, I suppose we could do that. 
to be honest, I don't know if I've got true and false in here. I'm probably... So, I've got on and off. <laughs> got on and off. Right, let's put them in. Let's use them instead. Oh dear, got on and off. Um... main loop so that's on off so I've got another flag haven't I where did what 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 was the other flag active character test um uh oh that's in the um elements isn't it that's here we got the locate that was it it's in the locate You alright? Alright. Uh, locate, locate, locate. Oh, I'm sure it's at the top. Load from array. It's here. There we go. Oh, it was in bullet, wasn't it? In the collision bit. Here. So active test. Zero is off. Yeah. And that's on. There we go. That sorted it. Yeah, I've got. I think I've got more. I think I've got more. Because we'll probably use, you know, like ship destroyed. That's a flag. We'll probably use on and off for that. But we may, we may put another constant in there to say yes or no or something like that. Yeah. So uh, we'll we'll sort that. Right. Let's. Mrs. Always case fine. She's. Uh, just woken up, not feeling too brilliant, but she's she's okay. Um, right. Um, oh, we was testing the collisions, weren't we? We we now know, we now know that the bullet is disappearing. So we now know the collision detection is working because the bullet disappears. So let's see if we can get it just to do the explosion, right? So. Um, To a bullet, 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 bullet. We need to be in there. So this scoreboard is where we, the, the the bullet the the thing would um, convert. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do the. Uh, no, no, it's not that, is it? It's copy, isn't it? It's it's in, it's in, it's in. Have I got aliens? Oh yeah, I've got aliens. Explosion dot copy. Ooh, VS Code, you know, you're driving me up the wall. Too many windows open. There we go. Right, so, um, pod, virus, brick, reflector, bombers, builders, explosion, here we go. So convert. So we'll convert the current. We'll convert the current entity that we've just found into an explosion. Yeah. Which does all that. Um, identify. We store the identification, don't we? Um, 
Here we go. We store it there. So I need that. So load X with that and then do the update. Update the matrix. So that's now converted it to an explosion and then we update the matrix. And then what we need to do now is we then need to JSR um, here, we're here. So it's going to be explode, explode. Explosion debris dot insert. Oh, hang on. We're in bullet though, aren't we? So explosion debris dot insert. Now that should explosion converts it. And then we then take the current screen position and then do the right that that should work. It should. It should. I've got too many windows open. Right. Let's try it. So hopefully we'll end up with explosions. So I'll wait for them to come. Oh, and I missed. And I missed again. Right. So clearly we've got a problem here. That's just in an infernal loop, isn't it? Yeah, so let's see where it's where it's looping. Come on, down. Fire. Yeah, um, it's gone into this. Seven goes to six. Implement change of direction. Then it's inserting into the array. using element array current index and I think we're using it as well are we using that no we're using that oh I've, I've seen I've seen it I've seen the problem I've seen the problem. Right, that should do it. That should sort it. I wasn't I wasn't saving the index. I wasn't saving the index. So it's just looping and looping and looping and looping. Right, here we go. Missed. Missed. There we go. We got an explosion.
Right, we'll wait for the we'll wait for the asteroid to get really close to us. Yeah. We've got an explosion. Right, so that's working. So let's try level Let's try um let's go through all the different waves, yeah? So that was wave one, this is wave two. Oh, this is gonna be fun. There we go. Even even the bombs were killer as well. Ooh, there we go. Looks less busy than the Vic. Yes, it does. Even though we've got more entities on the screen. Right, let's try level three. Oh, now that's a problem. That's a problem. We're not even hitting those. We're not even hitting those. Yeah, the colour flash is intentional, yeah? But them, them going away, I think that's to do with the raster that we're taking too much CPU time up and that's why it's flat the flashing. I mean, it's the, 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 the it's just going straight through them. This is what I was worried about, uh, an alien cop coming straight at you. Now, does it hit? Oh, I'm, I, I'm not quick enough to fire at them. Does it hit when they're going across? Right, where, there's one going across. Come on, let's see if I can hit it. Come on, there's another one with it. Oh, it went down. Oh, there's the top ones. No, I... It's, um, we either are not testing for them, but I think we should be. Anything else should be... Yeah. Um, so they're level three. So they're the bomb. They're the swoopers. No, not not swoopers. They're the buzzers, aren't they? These fellas. So um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll try the other ones. Right, so f 
four. So the asteroids, now we know they, we know, ooh, they're coming straight at, oh, no, it did it, it did it. Got the side ones. Yeah, coming at me. It could be a taste, it could be a fact that we don't test for them. Right, so that's the asteroids, they work. Five. Oh, these are the ones that will reflect back. Which they are not. They should be reflecting back, but they're not. Yeah, the, the, I think the, the dying is right, but I think the problem is they should be reflecting back. Oh, it carried on going up. It carried on going up. I wonder if we haven't got the... I wonder if we haven't got the... Um, the reflecting back properly because that was staggered oh I'm not very good at sh I'm not very good at these games Right. So I think it's box two. So let's fix let's fix them all to be box two. Um, aliens boxes. Let's just check. So if we fix them all to be box two, yeah. So LDA box two, and we don't bother doing that. So they're all box two, so they all should all reflect back, yeah? Oh, the execution's still... Um... Alright, night mate. We'll see you later, yeah? Get rid of that. Right, that should stop. They should all be box twos. Which they are, right. So these fellas should be reflecting back. But they're not. Oh. I think. I think it's still going up. Yeah, I think it's still going up. Hang on, let's just check. Bullet, 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 bullet. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Bullet. Um, so it's here, box two, the reflector, and then here, box two, possible reflected bullet, so it comes up here, checks for the left hand character, if it's not the left hand character, that is where it's going. So this is the one. I don't think it's updating. I don't think it's updating.
I don't think it's updating, so um, let's put a breakpoint there so we know that it's coming here. Right, let's try that. So he's definitely getting there. Right, let's see what happens. I bet that carries on going up. It does. So we are not updating this bullet. We're changing the direction, but we're not updating it. So the collision, where we're doing the collision, we need to update. We need to update the bullet. So it comes out. Um, and it's, it clears it, right, so, um, 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 um. got to remember where we're calling this, here, here, but we're not calling the update. And that's what we need to do. We need to call the update. So just give me a sec. Um, I need the execution index. Not drawing. This is it. This is it. That's what I need. Those two. And we put it. If it's character set don't need to do it, it's when it's clear, so there, so elements dot update and here if it's clear Right, let's try that. Right, let's slow it down. Oh. Cool, they went past me quick, didn't they? Right. Fire. Oh, and trust me to miss them. Can't hit him for toffee. <laughs> we'll let him go past. Right, here we go. Fire. So that went straight through. Oh, it's still going up. Look, it's, ch it's changed the bullet, but it's still going up. It changed the bullet, but it's still going up. Yeah, halfway there. Um, yeah, it's it's it it collision. So it's definitely doing this, um, this here, here, because it, it increases Y, right, which pushes it down, but the, the, the Y direction is still going up, so, um, so it changes the character, it pushes it down, but for some reason the Y direction is still right. Going down should be FF. Uh, element direction. Right. 
Oh, going down is one. Yeah, that's right. It should be going down, one. So why is it not updating? Because we're doing the clear cap, right. Let's, let's do something. Um, we're doing the carry clear. And it's here. So, comes back here doesn't uh, there. Is it is it there um, get myself all mixed up now it's not there it's not there it's there but we're calling that from the execution here right there we go that's where we're calling it from. So it should be updating the array anyway. Oh look, it's this move up by one. Let's move up by one. Am I changing the type? I need to check, I need to test for the type. I need to test for the type, hang on. So, we clear the cell. This is not, this is the bullet, right? So, which then turns into the reflected bullet. So this, if it's been changed, we should, we should be executing, we should be coming out of this, hang on. Um, so we need to check LDA uh, storage dot element dot type compare with dot um, reflected bullet branch if equal to exit. Branch if equal to there. Because it's now become a reflective bullet and it's still going up by one. Right. Let's try this again. Oops. Oh. Where's that in? Bullet 60. Oh, <laughs> well done, mate. Didn't see you should have done the list, and I would have been able to see it. But I'll give you, I'll give you there, I'll give you that. Right. Right. Let's. Let's right. We'll let them go past, and we'll slow it down, and then we'll fire. Ooh. That's still going up. are we missing what else are we missing oh I know what we're missing yeah I know what we're missing we are not changing the type. Ah, 
That's the problem. We're not changing the type. Um, that's still the correct type. So in the um, the bullet draw routine, bullet draw, that's here. So now it should be detecting and not doing this up by one and just executing straight out. Right, let's try again. Slow it down. Right. Ooh, it went through it. Oh, it was the left hand one, wasn't it? Right. If I fire now, will they come up before they get there? Come on, hit one. Oh, it's stay. We got it to reflect. Oh. Come on. The um No, it's they're all set to re there we are. We're, they're all set to reflect. The the box is currently set to reflect all the time, yeah? So when it, it when we t when we t get rid of the rems it will be half and half yeah but it's only it only happens on the right hand bullet that it does the reflection but I'm not hitting hitting it with the right hand bullet and that's annoying me because I'm trying to play catch up <laughs> there you go <laughs> In fact, it's the left hand bullet, isn't it? It's the left hand bullet that's doing it. There you go. It's reflected it back down, look. And that one, that's reflected back down. So the reflection is working. Right, so if we speed this back up, we should get a lot of, look, yeah, they're definitely coming back down. Right, let's put the, let's put the, um, the code back in. So they alternate. Right, let's put the code back in so they alternate. There you go. There it's come back. To hit them when you want to hit them. <laughs> oh, I should keep them still, really. Well, I suppose if they were reflecting all the time, it would be impossible. There you go, it reflected there. There you go, there's another reflection. Right, okay, so that one's working. Okay, let's carry on going. Six. And mines are dying as well. Yep, mines are dying.
They are, are they registering the hits on the right hand side? They should be. Oh, I missed the mine. I could have used the mine as the test. Go on, drop a mine. Drop a mine. Oh, a bit late to drop the mine there. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. No, no, it did it. Right. Let's do the asteroids, which is four, isn't it? Because that would be because they come down vertically so we can test All right so let's just line ourselves up right that's on the right hand side one yeah yeah and then this one is on the left hand side one yeah so they're both registering right so we're on seven Right, that's that one. Right, eight, I think, is the pods. Yeah. Oh, there's a reflect, and I missed it. Oh, and I missed it again. See you later. Ooh, um, the ref I'm not sure the reflectors work. Right, let's see. There we go. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key for one. Come on, let's get some. Let's get rid of. It. Ah, yes, it did. It did. The reflector did do work. Is a reflector actually? Here we go. Oh, I can't aim straight. No, the reflector's not reflecting. Yeah, right. I mean, it's going straight through, look, there. Oh, there we go, three hits. What? Oh, one there. Three on the right hand side. One. That is weird. Yeah. Raster issue. I don't think the reflector's working on that. Um, let's just try again. I don't think we was get. Look, there's a reflector there. So that's going straight through. Come on, give me another reflector. 
Oh, I'm hitting the reflectors wrong. I don't think the reflectors are... Oh, the bullets are not coming straight on the... Oh. Too many, too many things on the screen. Too many things, it's gonna crash. Yeah, I've run out of a race space, so I can't shoot anymore. <laughs> yeah, I might need a uh, separate array for bullets. Um. Yeah, I suppose we can. Um. What on the reflectors? I didn't see if did I get any on the reflectors? Right, okay. So okay. So we've got the collision detection working then. Yeah, most go through. That's that's the problem that I think that's the problem with the um I think that's the problem with this is because they're coming straight at you oh wrong one um level three wasn't it i think it's because they're coming straight at you but there is i'm just wondering if we were actually testing for them let's have a look are we actually testing for them Bullet. Yeah. We're testing for anything that gets through. Why is it not hitting them then? Um, let's see in there if we get a hit. See, that's just gone straight through. It's like we're not getting any hits. Yeah, we aren't registering. be happening let's slow it down let's find out it's like the bullet's not going over the top of them It's that snap. Oh, it's it's. Oh, have they the same? Oh, they've got the same delay as the bullets. Yeah, 
But then that should have that should have done it. They've got the same delay as the bullets, I think. Um, here we go. Right. So the buzzers have three. The bullets have three. Yeah, they've got the same delay as... They've got the same delay. Um, 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 um. So basically what's happening is that they're being activated at the same time. So they're swapping... And yeah, the virus is just, yeah. Um, so the reflected bullet's fine because that's the reflected bullet. So yeah, the virus is, um, so what What we could do is we could, is there anything for? No, right, so we could give them four, yeah. So the reflected bullets for so we're sl effectively slowing the uh, we're effectively slowing the uh, bullets down. All right, so let's see what that does for us. Do we start hitting them? Right. pain to hit but we are hitting them we're not hitting them when they go down though I'll tell you what I'll tell you what we will put them back and we'll s slow them down by one by one see if that sorts it out so the 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 the, the bullet is actually refreshing faster than the there we go oh it's still going straight through them oh no got that one Got that one. Right, that's sort of, ooh. It's, it's tight, isn't it? Um, I wonder if we do that. getting there I think it's just all about timings oh yeah these are one cycle out yeah the will the will be there will be crossovers because if you think if you think about it, this is on two and they're on four. So that means for every two every two bullet jumps, they'll move at the same time. Um, the thing is, they've got to be quick. They've got to be quick. That's the whole point of the buzzers. I mean, you can still hit them. It's just a bit harder to hit them. But it's just all about the it's the cycles so if we did it if they were on four and and the bullet was on three so after three so as they're coming down so for every third move and fourth move they would move at the same time over each other so there would be some l leaping yeah 
there would be some leaping. Um, the only way to, the only way to the only way to do that is to stagger, is to is 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 to do all the movements for everything else, like we've done with the drawing. Is we stagger, we stagger the 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 execution so it's not happening on the same cycle. But then a the game's got to be a little bit. Yeah, I know, but I, it, I mean, even Myriad Now, when you run Myriad Now, has the same issue. Let's let's see. I mean, let's let's uh, that one. Where's the array? There's the array, so we can see what what the original one was set at. It was the back end, wasn't it, the array? Well, I thought it was the back end. Ah, there it is. So, uh, the swoopers are type, type 3. So they were set at 3, yeah? They were set at, set at 3, and the bullets were set at 5. So that they were actually quicker. So if we run it... Right, here we go, we're gonna... Let's see how good up my shooting is. Oh, what did I get hit by? Yeah, they're significantly slower than the bullets. They're significantly slower. Okay, so originally they were they were set at three, but that they're moving far quicker than three. They're moving far quicker than three. No. No. That's weird. <sighs> Walked into that. Come on, John. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we'll have to look at that. We'll have to look at that. Yeah, it's getting late. We'll have to look at that. But they are hittable, look. Are hittable. They're not as fast because I've slowed them down. There we go. But it's just a case of um, tweaking it. So these are set to four. We're set to two. But with them being three and three, um, I mean we could make them faster. Make them threes. They should still. All right then. I mean, I'm getting rid of them. Oh, that was close. We're getting rid of them.
I'm all right with that. Right, okay, so we've got the collision detection going. Um, night night, mate. We've, um, the only things that we haven't done is the asteroids. I don't think the asteroids have been done. I think the asteroids are still missing. Right, so we've done them. And we've done them. Night, night. Yeah, we haven't done the asteroids. So we've got the asteroids to do. So we've done the de collision detection, and it seems to be working. Um, I think the timings we're going to have to mess around with. Um, we will need to do the... Um, I think I still think we're gonna have to um, do a double check on the collisions. I think we're gonna have to do that, um, and we may have to split the execution of the bullets out. I don't know yet, but we'll leave it as is. We need to put the asteroids in. We need to sort out then the scoring system, so that can be this Wednesday Wednesday uh, stream. So thank you very much, guys, for being. Here. It's been another long one. Alright, and I will see you on Wednesday. Take care, fellas. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.